Jackie Rowland with us as well, uh, listening along to that in Paris. Jackie, what did you make of the tone of that speech? Where is France, how is France positioning itself now in response to the Syrian attacks? Well, we have heard now at long last the um, elements of information which the French government uh, says are proof that the attack on the 21st of August was definitely a chemical weapon attack and it was also definitely carried out in their view by forces loyal to Bashar al-Assad as you said certain elements put forward in particular satellite imagery which they say showed that the weapons were fired from territory held by al-Assad forces furthermore the location of the attack they said in an area held by opposition forces but close to an area held by government forces a clear tactical effort the report asserts by government forces to try to retake that territory you spoke about it being a massive and coordinated attack the report mm. also said that the weapons used were industrially manufactured and it said it was impossible for rebel forces to have carried out this kind of massive concerted attack with this kind of industrially fabricated weapons and as well that key piece of evidence according to the report um, the fact that government forces then bombed the area mm. to try to remove evidence of chem chemical weapons attacks so this is the information uh, that members of parliament have been faced with um, we heard a few of them speaking on the way out really reflecting the whole broad range of views here in France we heard some people skeptical we heard some people critical saying that the president of France is now isolated where have our friends disappeared to one member of parliament asked another said he couldn't envisage any action being taken by France outside uh, the context of the United Nations um, clearly France is still in a situation where it's being debated we're going to see a debate mm. uh, in parliament on Wednesday but crucially parliament will not be having a decisive voice. This is not the United Kingdom. This is not the United States since Saturday when President Obama decided to delegate that decision to Congress. In France, it will be the President of the Republic who takes that decision. And people here, there are some people who are suggesting, in fact, that there's a hesitation going on here, um, that the President is somehow out on a limb and is in a way frozen. Um, he's actually in suspended animation, waiting for the next step from the United States, since it's generally held here that France would not be in a position politically rather than logistically, but it couldn't politically carry out a unilateral attack. Right, not unilateral because yes, the Prime Minister said it is not for France to act alone, but he also said this act cannot remain unanswered. Again, where does that leave the French? What do they talk about as far as action or response goes? I know you said it's going into to a debate, but, but still, what is their sort of position? Well, we heard again the Prime Minister talking about efforts by the President to assemble a coalition. Now, we've heard this line uh, many times in recent days. Um, when the President was speaking last week, uh, he said that if a decision could not be taken within the framework of the UN Se Security Council, then decisions could be taken in other ways. Uh, he said that a coalition, a coalition of the willing, if you like, um, could be formed. It would try to be as broad as possible, bringing in a broad range of countries who would support in recognize that France is one of the few big military powers in the world that actually have the logistical, the military wherewithal to carry out the strikes. The question we have to ask is, where is this coalition he's talking about assembling? We've seen one by one people dropping out. We've seen the United Kingdom, the parliament voting that they will not participate in military action. We don't know what decision the Congress will give yet, but other players who were parts in previous um, coalitions, we've heard the Germans say we're not getting involved. The Canadians have said they're not getting involved. Mm. The Turks are keen to see decisive action. We've heard condemnation from the Australians, but we've also heard from the NATO secretary general that NATO as an alliance is not going to get involved um, so it's quite difficult at this stage to see where exactly the French would find other members of a coalition who would be willing to take part in some kind of multilateral intervention against Syria. Very, very good point Jackie stay with me would you just a moment I do just want to bring viewers up to date with what we've been hearing this evening coming out of Paris with regards to a French intelligence report on the chemical weapons attack that happened in Syria. As Jack has been saying to us, the French are confirming they believe, yes, it was a chemical attack, and yes, it was President Assad and his forces who carried it out. They said 
uh, that satellite images showed that the strikes came from government control areas, that it was a massive and coordinated attack that the opposition would not have been able to carry out itself, and that the Syrian government, uh, after the attacks, then bombed the area uh, to try to remove any evidence of chemical attacks. So this is all from a French intelligence report, uh, which has just been spoken about. As we said, the French Prime Minister Jean-Marc Ayrault was just speaking uh, there. Uh, briefing uh, the media after that. As I say, Jackie Rowland, our correspondent in Paris, still with us there. Just to go back more, Jackie, to the language that Jean-Marc Ayrault used, seems to be, and you mentioned this before, but it's worth recapping, treading a line there, waiting almost to hear what the US will do, what will come out of the Senate there, treading a line until the picture from other countries is clearer. We do seem to be in a kind of holding pattern here in France. In some ways, it's quite politically embarrassing for Francois Hollande. He did march his men to the top of the hill um, at the end of, of last week. On Friday in particular, there were these intensive consultations between uh, Barack Obama and Francois Hollande, in particular a 45-minute telephone call in which the two men reiterated that they held um, Bashar al-Assad responsible for the chemical attack, in which they both agreed that he needed to be punished, in which they both um, expressed their determination to act. And then suddenly the rug was pulled out under Hollande's feet when on Saturday Barack Obama announced that actually he would be delegating that decision to the Congress, which really leaves um, President Hollande out on a limb. He really has um, stated his case very firmly, said that France was ready to act. And it was just a case of when he took the decision. And he does appear to be in suspended animation now. Yes, there can be a certain amount of um, political activity um, until Wednesday there's the build-up for the parliamentary debate so that if you like can be um, activity that justif justifies this hiatus mm. but many people are asking is Francois Hollande president of a sovereign nation or is he actually waiting for the United States to take the lead and how does it work within France because obviously that was the Prime Minister we heard from and you've referred to a debate that will happen but does it all sit with President Hollande in the in the end It does. Um, the Constitution is quite clear on this. It is the President um, who has the responsibility of engaging French forces in military action overseas. He has an obligation to notify Parliament within three days of such military action taking place. Also, if we were talking about an extended deployment of French soldiers on the ground, like for example in Mali earlier this year, then he has to go to Parliament every four months to renew that kind of engagement. Obviously, this is not the kind of action that's being considered here. Um, people have been talking about a short, uh, limited uh, campaign of strikes, maybe over 24 to 48 hours, a very limited action uh, carried out possibly from um, ships in the Mediterranean firing uh, missiles, possibly from aerial bombardment as well, but certainly no question of any um, foreign forces on the ground. So for this kind of mission, it is the buck stops with the French president. And I think it, many people will see that what we're looking at here is a certain amount of uh, political theater, political playing for time. Mm. Um, the fact that there's going to be a debate in parliament, but the parliament, it's just democracy in action, um, allowing people to express their views, let off a bit of steam. But ultimately, it doesn't change the fact that President Hollande has to decide sooner or later. And at a certain point, the delaying tactics will really be exposed as delaying tactics. Um, and obviously the, the Americans are not going to be debating this until about the, the 10th of September um, when the Congress is going to sit in session and vote on whether US forces would carry out a limited military strikes. So it is quite a difficult position for a head of state, the head of the French state to be in, where he seems to be um, frozen in mm. inactivity. He took it, he appeared to have taken the decision. Um, he was using very strong language. And yet now um, he seems to be unable to move in any direction until he hears some um, decision from the part of the United States.